So I'm at the Wood Islands Welcome Center with Audrey Schillaber, and Audrey's the administrator of the Wood Islands and Area Development Corporation. Corporation. And uh, you've been in this role for a little upwards of two years, Audrey? Yes, I have. Great. And you've got quite an operation here with multi multitasking and yes. different services on offer. So maybe maybe you could give us an idea of what all people find when they come here to the Welcome Center. Well, we are the gateway, the eastern gateway to the province, and uh, so we have a number of people coming off the ferry, and first of all, they'll find our very beautiful uh, heritage-themed buildings, uh, namely this information centre and the candy store behind me, uh, that are uh, indicative of an old PEI farmhouse. Uh, across the way, we have uh, the liquor store, which is, uh, uh, the architecture is supposedly the uh, drive shed of a farm. And then we have our 13-year-old uh, heritage building, uh, a replica of a 19, 1905 Wood Islands uh, train station. In addition, down the road, not very far, we have the Wood Islands uh, uh, Lighthouse and Museum, and that's a real treat to go see. Great, and in the tr railway station, you've got the ladies. Information center mm -hmm. for, uh, for for visitors. Yes, the, the provincial tourism is here. Fantastic. Yep. So that's quite a, an operation. And um, if we were trying to get a, a sense of what sort of uh, traffic you, you see, or what um, what people kind of might, what kind of numbers might come, uh, how 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 can you quantify that? Well, I'm waiting for the latest tourism <laughs> numbers, but uh, the one thing I can give you is the 2015 numbers, and we had 378,000 people that came off the ferry, and uh, all we have to do is just get them to drive right in here, and we have easy RV parking, and uh, lots of uh, little breaks that people can take and have an ice cream or walk up the ferry trail, which is just over here as well, and just a real first introduction to this beautiful island. And the lighthouse is popular as well. It is very popular. Uh, we have 11 themed rooms there. And uh, when the tourism people do their fam tours, which is where they get to know about our different, uh, um, uh, what do you call it? Attractions. The attractions, thank you. Uh, they have cited year and year again that the Wood Islands Lighthouse is their favorite. That's, I think that's a great story. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and you as administrator keep make make ends meet and uh, keep it's, uh, yes we do <laughs> and it's we are not for profit and uh, the not for profits are a really important part of this the economy here on Prince Edward Island in any province and uh, we're proud to do our part our board works hard and uh, everybody's interest is, is right here that's great and a lot of pride from the community well, for the Wood Islands and area mm -hmm. uh, in what people see when they they come here and and of course it's good for the province that they get welcomed in that way and of course this year we have the sign that says uh, welcome to Mi'kma'ki. Yeah. Oh that was a big event and that was lovely to get up at sunrise thank you for coming out too for that that was wonderful and uh, yes we're very happy to honor their their lands originally. Well it's great that everything is happening here and um, we want to uh, of course uh, assure you and some um, uh, we've already spoken about it that's we're really keen on having a, a full-scale ferry service and a reliable ferry service and understand what that means to the province as a whole yes, and, and to this area. Mm -hmm. So we'll look forward to a, another you. great year in 2017. Yes. yes, we're already planning. That's great. Thanks. <laughs> Thank Audrey. you.